Hey guys, Splint here. Welcome back to my channel. I have literally just finished watching episode 5 of Wednesday, so we are here to watch episode 6, um, entitled Quid Pro Quo. Um, I think something I'm going to do later on is actually look up the episode titles to see why. I just, I'm very curious because every episode title has had Wo um, in it, so I just kind of want to see if there's any... Obviously the titles have something to do with the episodes, but I, I just want to know what it was because I'm not... I'm not really good at picking that kind of thing up. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back, uh, probably, I'll probably wait till I finish the series and do that in, um, for the series, I'll probably do that for the series finale, I think. It's just kind of a little send off to the, to the show. Um, I don't know if I'm expecting anything in particular from this, um, episode. Judging by the title, I'm assuming it's gonna be something, you know, maybe some more black, blackmail, um, I suppose we'll see what happens. Maybe Eugene will wake up. Um, is Enid gonna wolf out? I don't know. <sighs> also guys, I don't dislike Enid, okay? I just feel like, I, I probably relate, I know it's a very, very broad spectrum, but I probably relate a little bit more to Wednesday than I do Enid. She is very, Enid is very, very bubbly and I have friends who are like that and family who are like that and it's fine. It's just, I can only handle small doses because she talks too much for my liking. I'm sorry. She's a cutie patootie though and the actress is great who's playing her. She's totally making her, I'm sure the way that Enid was is, is meant to be because the casting is amazing, but that's just my two cents. She's probably my least favorite character right now based on her personality, but that's just me. Anyways, let's get into episode six. Is she trying to conjure goody? Dances very often. Mm. I can barely tolerate the living. Why would I want to commune with the dead? Miss Bubbly's here. You thought about using one of my scented candles? The aroma of steak tartare is to die for. Crackstone's crypt. Oh, that's why she had that vision during the boat race, right? Oh, look at Enid going with her. You insisted on coming along. I was fine on my own. How is she scared? She's meant to be like a werewolf, isn't she? Is it gonna make her wolf out? Ew. What died? She smells like childhood. <laughs> Surprise! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> He's got a party hat on. No, this is a really important part that's about to happen, but how old is she <laughs> meant to be turning? That was cool. You end up alone, unable to trust others, only seeing the darkness within them. Is that supposed to scare me? You should. I feel like raven has to have some sort of significance like the term in like um for people who have foresight because you know how like game of thrones three-eyed raven thing and i feel like i'll have to look that up after this do you like it what is it exactly it's a snood silly what is it i have one too we can wear them together to class. Oh, Enid. What did she call it? Something like class. I suggest we wait for a more special occasion. Snoot? So Lucas is doing community service at Nevermore. You still think I'm the monster? Haven't ruled it out. Yeah, well, when you change your mind and you want my help, you know where to find me. 
I'm pretty sure somebody said they were filming in Romania. Where'd you get that? The bracelet. Where'd you get it? Lucas, nice to meet you. Bianca. I know. Hey. I'll be at the weather vane later if you want to stop by. Maybe we can exchange notes on self-improvement. Still don't like this kid yet, but he's gonna he's gonna have an arc of some sort. Who's Goody? She's a very distant cousin. Very distant. Sounds like she doesn't see you for who you really are. I didn't ask for a free session. Consider it my birthday gift. Is the lingering shot on the flowers meant to mean something? If I asked you out to a non-birthday song-free dinner, would that be something you're interested in? It's about how whitewashing the sins of our past. She didn't say no. Have you seen that before? Is that the, um, like the gate in the intro, um, of the, like the opening episode? I need your help. Don't gloat. What, do you want some drawing <laughs> lessons? I saw that in a vision. Do you recognize it? So everyone just knows that Thing is like around now because like he was fully hiding and... A couple days ago, I started having those dreams again, like before. Was the monster in them? Do they have some sort of connection? <laughs> Guys, having your headphones on and watching a show like this, it, it plays with you because Oh, anyways, I'm fine. I'm not at all scared. So I started painting and that's what came out, all right? I can hear you up there playing. That is a very cool ability, I will say. I feel like it's the only time I get to see the real you. I love that. I think that that, I think so far of everyone we've seen, I think Xavier has the coolest ability, abilities. I didn't think you were actually going to show. Me neither. Wanted someone to talk to. I feel like we're in the same boat. My mother showed up last week to remind me that sirens can never change their scales. I don't know what that means. My mission is to prove her wrong. I just figured you could relate. I mean, sirens are meant to be, in mythology, they're meant to be, like, mysterious, inviting, but dangerous, I think. So not like, you know, mermaids from, you know, Peter Pan, but, like, in actual, in actual mythology. So not your cartoon versions, but... Listen, I might have figured out who's behind all of this. It's a long shot, so I'm gonna have to lay it out for you. Hi, at the weather bank. <laughs> Just like the old days. See you soon. Oh, Jesus. He was hit that hard, but again. As of now, the school is on full lockdown. And your off-campus privileges are revoked until further notice. But she will expel you if you continue to defy her. So you're only looking out for my best interests? Always. I think we're a lot alike. We aren't. Mm -hmm. I don't need your help or your pity. I already have a mother and a therapist. That's enough torture, even for me. 
I know I've said this before as well, but I love that she's in this. Two worlds collide and it's beautiful. What wallpaper is that? Did you ever even love her? Okay, so she's... More than you could ever know. So Mama is dead. <laughs> Thing. You know what to do, right? <laughs> I love that Rubik's Cube. What is this girl wearing? We should wear our snoods. Oh, I... I believe I like... I'm gonna have to look up snood after because it just looks like a... What do you call it? A, um... Like a, like a, a fluffy scarf to me. But I might not have seen it correctly. Gee. <laughs> I thought we were going on a date. I thought this was a girl's night out. Okay, what's up with the weird matching hoodie scarf things? Don't ask. Just drive. Okay, so it's a hoodie. It's like a hoodie with a scarf on the top. I'm still going to look it up because I want to see if it's an actual thing. Okay, guys, I have to take my earrings out because I've been wearing the headphones for too long and they're hurting. Really subtle, guys. This is pointless. Can I try? Watch her do her little nail file thing. Oh, oh okay. Egg on my face. Is the man gonna die? Possibly. There's Garrett. His outcast hating father, Ansel. You must be Laurel. They're all long gone. It's interesting that a house or like even a property is because this would just sit for this long untouched. Who doesn't have a spooky built in altar in the Ours is in the living room. More seating for a year long Dia de los Muertos. Day of the Dead. Why am I even here? Do you think that she can't wolf out because of her personality? I know what my mom would say. Enid, you're a doormat. You're too needy. Show some teeth. Nobody likes a desperate little furball. Shut up, mom. Get out of my head. The bed's me. No dust or cobweb. Is it the daughter? The daughter. <gasps> Wait, is the daughter the doctor? The therapist? No. Oh my God. <sighs> I am so claustrophobic. I could I could not do what they're doing right now. I would have just probably jumped out the the window and hope for the best. No, 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 not Stop. Really? Potential death glove. That's a genuine fear. I think anything where like you're in a lift and there's there's that fear of being in a lift and the lift like snapping or and plummeting or going up and bursting through the ceiling. Like it's just it's the most irrational fear. I think there's a scene in one of the, I think it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where they're in the elevator. Sorry, the lift, same difference. And it shoots up and like out of the building. That's where that fear first came in. To make this about me, but I am having a full blown panic attack right now. Where are they? We need to get back before Reems realizes we've been gone. Ah. Oh my god. It was all here. The, the, the body parts and the blue- It could have nothing to do with it. It could just be like a place it found whoever it is to thinking no one would look there. 
Is that your justification for almost getting my son and your friends killed? You are forbidden from seeing Tyler, and you are forbidden from pursuing anything to do with this case. Understood? I mean, he can't really stop her from pursuing the case. He just... She's, she can still do what she can to look on her own. Said I was destined to destroy the school. But I think I'm meant to save it. What did it say? Fire will rain when I rise. So somebody's trying to resurrect him and she's gonna be the person to stop resurrected Crackstone. Goody warned that I was destined to be alone. Maybe it's inevitable. But for the first time in my life, it doesn't feel good. Aww. That death is close at hand. Watching me. Ooh, creepy. And when Mayor He's Walker there. got too oh, close to the truth, but... he was silenced. Oh my god, is he gonna die? I feel like Mayors, the Mayors are gonna. Know this. I will find you. <laughs> I think at the beginning of, I think in the intro I said that Enid was my least favorite because her personality is too much. And I, I, I still think that, but, you know, it's like the whole yin and yang things, like sometimes you just need some of what the other person has. Um, I suppose it's very much um, how <clears throat> Enid and Wednesday are. So like, you know, Enid could probably use a little bit of Wednesday's um, personality and her backbone, I suppose you could say. And then, Wednesday could use a little bit of, um, a little bit of Enid's, a little bit of Enid's personality, I reckon, but, uh, the characters are so well defined in the Adams family that it's, that it is a bit hard, I think, to see her, see her change, like, in, even, even little things she does in her behaviour, so, like, in the first episode when she dropped the piranhas in and she smiled. It was weird to see Wednesday Adam smile because that's just not the character. I've definitely um, enjoyed this series, I think, more than I thought I would. Um, I have noticed... What else did I notice in that episode? <sighs> so, I made a prediction that the daughter is still alive and she didn't actually die overseas because that sounds shady I feel like it might have been a, pl a play to set up for this person this sister um I forget what they said her name was but um Garrett Gates little sister to possibly come back to um you know do whatever she wanted to do to potentially solve Garrett's murder or possibly get Gomez get justice um by catching Gomez um and perhaps like it otherwise it just seems weird doesn't it like anyways um I'm probably overthinking it as I normally do but she showed up in that episode and and like I said, I didn't I didn't expect the therapist to have as big a role in this series. Everyone else in this series so far, all the characters have made sense to me in some capacity. So you have your sheriff, your mayor, principal, dorm mum, when like the Adams family. All of these all of these characters make sense to me in the grand scheme of this, except for her because she just keeps popping up 
and it's meant to be it's meant to be like a small town right so I could be completely wrong <laughs> I could be going off on a you know a massive tangent right now for no reason thinking that you know um, <laughs> her name I've forgotten again I should have wrote down the initials on the box. I think they were, were they LG? Something Gates? Yeah, I think it was LG. I'll put a, I'm putting a question mark next to it. Oh yeah, what is a snood? Oh, so it's just like the little thing that comes up. Like to your chin or mouth. Well, that's interesting. I had never even heard of something called a snood before tonight. So, um, I guess that's, I guess it, it's a real thing. Um, um, the other thing that I wrote down was that you, the Raven thing and that scientists supposedly believe that Ryan's uh, do possess some sort of foresight ability. Um, So there's a lot here that says that ravens are extremely intelligent. Um, it says that they're really, it says that they're really, really smart. Um, and that ravens prefer solitude, which makes sense for um, Wednesday's character. Um, it also says that both share the characteristics of vision and prediction, meaning uh, prescience and precognition. Precognition? It says that both, yeah, both share the characteristic of vision and prediction. They are also intuitive and clever, uh, going hand in hand with foresight. So. So it says, yeah, they are also intuitive and clever going hand in hand with foresight. I have never, like I've watched a lot of Game of Thrones, so I know of like the idea of a three-eyed raven, um, obviously, if you've seen, seen Grand Game of Thrones, you know what I'm talking about, but um, I had never bothered to even look into something or that that um, symbolism um, until now. So that's interesting. I've learned a few things tonight. Um, but anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Um, I'll be very interested. I think to watch the next year. I can't believe I'm already like almost done with this series. I, <laughs> it's moments like these when I, I really do miss having you know the longer the longer running shows because you just want more after eight episodes and they make you wait you know a year at a time um so yeah i don't i don't know whether um there's gonna be another show i don't know whether we're gonna smash out these wednesdays before we start put in before we start seeing another show but if you do it'll appear here if not i'll put a photo of my kitty cat <laughs> Um, so I suppose with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!